this little video is going to review the installation of the 60 kW we just installed in Great Falls. I'm going to show you how we do things. Some people like to see this for comparison. It's always good to learn how other people do things. But what we have here is a standard 60 kW Kohler generator. And as you can see, this is the uh, controller end of the unit. And I know you can't see every detail, but you can see where we bring our piping up underneath the generator. The cover's off so we can see this. We have a low voltage compartment here, and this is a surge arrestor for the communications. And I'll show you some more inside, but this little guy here is extremely important because this controller connects to us via the internet. And as you can see right here, we're online wirelessly and we are at the Pfeiffer residence. So we are connected to this generator remotely now. We can see that the generator is online and we know when power outages occur. Unfortunately, this unit is run by natural gas, but we trenched our pipe over from the meter, brought it up, regulator and all that good jazz. And then this is where our pipes exit the residence underground over to the generator. For those of you that know Zeus, there he is, always on the job. So I'm going to walk in here to the garage, show you what we did in here. And this particular home has a 600 amp service. What that means is... They have a CT cabinet, then they have the trough, and then the trough that used to connect to this panel here. And there used to be two service disconnects in this location here and here. We removed those disconnects. We installed service rated transfer switches, and those two transfer switches control two panels that are remote and they're down in the basement. We added the piping here for this transfer switch and this transfer switch here. Yep, that's our name. And that's what it looks like with the covers on. That transfer switch controls that existing panel there. There's some other old panels that are here that are connected to the unit. Um, I'd like to make it a little prettier, but we can't. That center one being is a Tesla charger. It's a 100 amp disconnect for the new Tesla they have. So what we have is when we come out of the CT cabinet, we have wiring that we need to splice into. And these are called clear taps. They used to be clear, hence the name. But that allows us to tap in all three transfer switches. And this trough is what we need to make all those connections. We added the lower trough, and that large wiring there is what comes from the generator. We then used clear taps so that we could take one set of wires from one generator and splice it into those three transfer switches. <clears throat> if you notice, there's a box and there's some other conduits in there. That is the low voltage that goes between each ATS and the generator. And the reason they're in a conduit on their own within the trough is by code you must separate low voltage and line voltage wiring. It looks neater to have less, so we run it within and isolate it in that manner. These boxes here are surge arresters. These are utility surge arresters. The little guy there is a generator surge arrestor, so we're protected from utility and from the generator. And there's one set on each transfer switch, and they work in unison with the surge arrestor that's at the generator. So what we're going to do is, this is what it looks like with the outer cover. 
This is what it looks like with the inner cover. And of course, this is what it looks like when you remove all covers. Try to make it as neat as possible and uh, it'll make it easier to work on in the future. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this cover. That way we have access to all the breakers. We are going to do a power outage test right now showing you what will happen. The generator is on. Transfer switches have transferred. And now you can notice the surge arresters are on protecting the home against any surge that might be produced by the generator while in operation. So we'll walk back out to the generator and I'll try to speak a little louder so you can hear me. But the generator is on. Blew our door down. This is a 60 kW generator. I just got the email notification that the generator is running. You can see now the Pfeiffer residence is running on generator power. It's nice. Clean power, 240 volts, 60.1 hertz, battery voltage. If I go to our site tech, and this is connected directly to the generator right now, I can see what this generator is doing. I can see firmware, I can see RPMs, engine temperatures, controller temperature, if I scroll down a little bit, I'm not going to do this to you completely here, but I can see voltage. I can scroll down that system and see everything I need to see with this generator. So, it's a little louder because the door is off, but it's a very quiet system. You can see that it was rather quick. Ten seconds. And they will no longer have to worry about power outage. 